In all of your waking hours, I encourage you to stay closely aligned to your originating source of being. Practice thinking like God, your highest self, thinks. As I pointed out in a previous book, Excuses Be Gone, when your contemplations are a vibrational match to originating spirit, you are synchronized with divine mind, attracting and fulfilling your desires. You have the same power as originating spirit. As long as you don't replace your divine nature with ego's thoughts, which are essentially the mental meanderings of your false self. While awake, use your mind to repeatedly remind yourself of your true I am that I am nature. Remember that universal one subconscious mind creates in a way known only to itself. It is the great mystery. Learn to live in that mystery, making every effort to use all of your mental and feeling powers to manifest the life you desire all the while staying in an uncompromised state of love. Here's what Eric Fromm wrote on this subject of living the mystery. Quote, Rather than being confronted with an overwhelming proof of the limitations of our understanding, we accuse the dreams of not making sense. Unquote. You needn't be concerned with how it will all work out. All you need know is that you are always connected to your source of being and that you and God are truly one. Just as no scientist can tell you how a caterpillar knows how to turn itself into a butterfly and then migrate thousands of miles without the benefit of a brain, you must simply accept the great mystery of life and death and stay as closely aligned with this miraculous thing that we call creative source of all being as you possibly can. You don't have to understand it all. All you need to do is remain in a state of love while reprogramming your subconscious mind to develop the habits of a God-realized being rather than an ego-dominated person. As the great Lebanese poet Khalil Gibran observed in his classic book, The Prophet, quote, Trust the dreams, for in them is hidden the gate to eternity, unquote. I urge you to follow the poet's advice and open up that gate and come to know a new external you in your dreams awake and never forget your own divine magnificence. It is my intention to live in my dreams awake as much as is humanly and spiritually conceivable. I look back upon my dream state and I realize that everything that I needed from my dream I was able to create with my subconscious mind, without effort and with no need for involving my physical body at all. And so I know that manifesting the person I wish to be while awake also involves effortless perfection and that I have my imagination or my intentions, my attention and my feelings to use while awake as well. My sleep time fully embedded in my subconscious mind is providing clues for me to put those mental activities into practice when I leave my slumber. I further look back at my dream state from a place of wakefulness and I see that everything and everyone that was in my dream was created by me with my imagination. I keep this in mind as I gaze at who and what I have created in my awake dream. I look back from my wakeful perspective and realize that I lived in a world where time is an illusion, where nothing is unavailable to me, where cause and effect are total illusions, where all obstacles are turned into either opportunities or revealed as illusions, where there is no beginning and no end, and where my body experiences feelings even though the thoughts that resulted in those feelings are all illusions and were totally devoid of judgments by my dreaming self. And finally, I look back and realize that the only way I know for certain that I was dreaming was to awaken. I remind you here as well that you do have within you these amazing powers of manifestation and you use them on a regular basis every night and for one-third of your entire life in this incarnation. I suggest that while you are awake you view this two-thirds portions of your life as a dream as well and realize that the only way you'll know you are dreaming is to awaken. That is, awaken to a new consciousness in which distance and time constraints can be overcome just by a change of state, an awakened state that knows and trusts in the power of your thoughts and feelings to live a wishes fulfilled life. I am peaceful, I am content, I am love, I am the governing power of the universe, and I attract only to myself those who are in alignment with my highest ideals of myself. This is my nightly ritual always eschewing any temptation to go over any fear of unpleasantness that my ego might be asking me to review. I assume the feeling in my body of those I am statements already fulfilled, 
and I enter my sleep inviting the instruction that my subconscious mind welcomes. I know that I'm allowing myself to be programmed while asleep. For the next day, I rise knowing that I am a free agent. I understand that every action and event of the day is essentially predetermined by my feelings as I prepare for sleep. And while I was in that place of warmth and trust in the arms of the one universal subconscious mind.